Okay, here we are again. How did you get on with copying your finger vibrato? Don't forget, you, your bar mustn't replace your finger vibrato. The finger vib has got to be first. It's got to be there first. Listen to the great kind of players like uh, Clapton, Hendrix, Beck, Jimmy Page, uh, David Gilmore. Listen to all those classic players. Their finger vibrato is fantastic. Try and get that in your playing before you even look at uh, the, the tremolo on your guitar. Um, the next thing I want to kind of show you is bending accurately um, increments with the bar. So uh, I mean kind of taking a note, hit that note, that's what's one I'm G, G7 there. I want to bend that down with the bar one fret. So I'm looking for, so with the bar, again, down one fret. That's what I'm aiming for. So with the bar, I mean, I've put the plectrum down because I kind of like the sound of the fingers. It works just as well with a, with a pick. Um, once you've got that going, I mean, every the trouble is once you get it going on the G string, it's going to be different on all the other strings. So I'm using the G string um, to show you the exercise. But if I do the same thing on the D string, the actual bending of the bar is going to be slightly different. So it really is getting to know your guitar inside out, getting to know how your tremolo responds, because each string is going to be slightly different. If I try it on the B string, that, the amount of push I give on the B string is going to be different to the amount of push I've got to give on the G string. Let's try, uh, let's try two frets. So I'm going to go back to that G string and I'm going to go for... Um, so here we go. Deep breath. When I get down to the note, I'm even kind of holding it there and just trying to give it a little bit of a vib as well. One thing I, 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 I must point out is when you're actually kind of taking one note and vibbing it, remember when you were copying your finger vibrato earlier, um, it's, it's essential that you think where the pitch of the note is, and as you're, if that's the pitch of the note, the bar is going, the whammy bar is going either side of the note. It's not just going down, so it's not going... It's not doing that. It's got to go up and below the, the, the pitch. So there's the pitch. So when I vib it, I'm actually kind of pitching it above and below. Now that, that sounds really overdone, but as you kind of get used to... You can hear it going above and below. Otherwise, if it's just knocking it down, it sounds like this. Which isn't quite the same effect. So we're getting into bending pitches now. We've done one fret. We've done, let's try two frets. We're going to go for two frets on the G string. So let's try it on the D string. And as I land on the pitch that I've bent to, I'm kind of giving it a bit of a, a vibrato with the with the with the bar. Let's try let's try an A string, which is even more. So I'm after. So this is going to be more push. And now let's try the E string. I overdid it a little bit there. There it is. Um, a good place to maybe think about the pitching is if with the open strings, because if I if I can play the pitching, the bending um, down two frets on an open string. It's the same as doing it, kind of fretting it, maybe on the, the eight, uh, the seven and the five. The same amount of push happens on the open strings. And it's good to get the open strings happening. Because, you know, if you're going to finish a run. It's good to know, get the feel of those open strings. Let's, do, let's try the, uh, the G string. So 
说很笨，你们这样子。So let's kind of build、um, with that in mind. I want you to spend 15 minutes, half an hour, or however long it takes you, just kind of pitching one fret, then two frets. Maybe let's go for. Let's just while I'm here, while we're in this kind of mode, let's try.、Um, let's try four frets. Sounds kind of cool. Okay, how did you get on bending one and two frets with the bar? Now we're going to try it with a harmonic.、Uh, so let's choose a, a nice harmonic. How about this? This G.、Uh, it's the fifth fret. G string, that classic harmonic, just there. It sounds sweet just doing that. Just try hitting the note and just getting it sounding sweet. So I'm actually taking hold of the bar and making sure I'm, I'm kind of moving it above and below. And just to prove that, I, you know, you can do it with a plectrum. If I, you see, I can still, you can still see I'm holding the plectrum and just using this part of my hand to do that. So now we're going to kind of pitch that down one fret, so one degree of a scale. So let's just check our scale. This is the scale we're after. Just a G major scale. So we've done. Try and get the feel of one, just one degree of a scale. Let's try two degrees. That's pretty close. Let's do it again. So now I've gone. So the idea is you're getting the feel of your your kind of your whammy bar, because、um, each bar is is each kind of guitar feels different. But if you can actually try and play a whole kind of scale with、uh, in fairly accurately. Uh, on a harmonic, then you're going to get when you're going when you're improvising, you're going to be at one with your bar. So I, I'm, I'm just going to take a deep breath and try and see if I can do a whole kind of major scale. Here we go. Just about.、Um, but you see, the, 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 it's, the, it's the being being able to know the tension I've got to push on the bar because I know this guitar so well. I'm able to do that.、Um, So practice that. You've only got to go for two or three, four notes at, at, at first. Just keep doing that. And then maybe move it to the、uh, D harmonic there on the the seventh fret. Nearly. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, just about.、Um, let's try going down one. So I'm going to go back to that G harmonic there. I'm going to go down one fret, so one degree, and pull up two. So you get this kind of sound. One more time. So what I'm actually playing is a G F sharp A. So now we're getting into pulling the bar up, which because it's floating,、um, hopefully you can pull it up at least two frets. Even if you just hit the one harmonic and pull it up two frets, it still sounds cool. You've got all these kind of on each of these strings. You've got this this whole world of harmonics you can play with.
sometimes you know when I'm sort of playing a bit free form, a bit free form and going off, I might just hit a harmonic and, and just kind of bend it to pitch somewhere. On the look, check on the E string. I'm just really as I'm hitting the harmonic. There's all these harmonics that you kind of you might want to explore. So you can have some fun, but the thing is, it's got to sound kind of controlled. That's the thing. That's what makes the, using the whammy bar kind of sound um, effective in that you're, you're sounding like you're in control of it. Um, so check that out. One or two, three, four. See how many degrees of the scale you can get on a harmonic. One more time, just see if I see if I can still do it. Just about. <laughs>